All right, hi friends. I am Dr. Siraj Ahmed, your Faculty of Pharmacology, and I am here to summarize all the important schedules under Drug and Cosmetic Act 1940. Do you know that we have a schedule that is Drug and Cosmetic Act 1940, and according to this, we are having multiple, you know, uh, rules and regulation, and uh, that we have to abide by for drug manufacture, sale, reproduction, everything about the drug. Okay. Now, do remember there is a question here: which of the following schedule deals with the sale of a generic drug? They are mainly asking sale of a generic drug. Most of you. have already given the answer already but ana we need to cover all the other important schedule ago ana around this one generic drug generic drug they are available worldwide by the same name right so the correct answer that we are having here is schedule w let me quickly give you the other schedules as well this schedule deals with the biological and special product b for biological this is going to be schedule c list of poisonous substances under siddha yunayan ayurveda if ever you try any ayurvedic drug na they are not very uh, sweet in tasting they are bitter in tasting whenever you eat anything bitter the outcome is going to be e kya khila diya hai na e the one that brings e from your mouth right regulation for stand regulation and standard for running a blood bank hai na so blood bank mein har cheez ko froze karke rakhte hain freeze karke rakhte hain so everything is frozen there schedule f details the drug label with caution and a hormonal anti cancer drug will be coming under this one they are going to actually give you a guideline that it should be given under medical supervision aap is drug ko medical supervision mein hi denge like for example hormonal anti cancer drug hai na so they are going to come under schedule g g for the one that gives you guideline sold by retail here we are talking about sale of a drug and here we are talking about intake of a drug right sale of a drug only on the prescription of a rmp who is a rmp rmp registered medical practitioner who is a registered medical practitioner hum hai registered medical practitioner no so this is going to be schedule h deals with the expiry period very very easy this is going to be schedule p drugs which shall be marketed under generic names as i told you worldwide generic drugs are same right like paracetamol in our country paracetamol america usa russia china everywhere it's paracetamol right so the one that is having same name worldwide this is going to be schedule w psychotropic drug that require specific license hai na psycho always remember whenever you hear the word psycho remember your x xs are always psycho right and they are also having high abuse potential kya aapko pata hai your xs are x because they are having high abuse potential they are psycho example of these agents can be your let's say a uh, ketamine this already has been asked in one of the aims examination your barbiturates right barbiturates morphine and lsd these are the example of a drug that is coming under your uh, psychotropic drug this is schedule x x x are always psycho remember this schedule is specify the requirement and guideline for running a clinical trial whenever it comes to clinical trial and someone says that okay please prescribe my drug and you say why should i prescribe you ask the question why and and let's say an mr is coming and telling doctor please prescribe my drug and you ask him why should i prescribe he will say sir let's do a clinical trial to one group i will give you your existing drug to other group i will give you the new drug and we will know so whenever there is a question of why should i prescribe why ka jawab kya hoga let's do the clinical trial so let's quickly recall 30 second me why should i prescribe your drug to kya karna hai let's do the clinical trial xs are always psycho psychotropic drug that require specific license for manufacture and sale drug which shall be marketed under generic name generic drugs worldwide same name and it deals with the expiry period p for expiry period don't forget this one right then we are having biological that is going to be c and then we are having poisonous substances under siddha yunani ayurveda so always remember anything uh, from ayurvedic drug they are bitter in tasting so the one that brings e from your mouth that is e for running a blood bank everything is frozen and the one that gives you guideline not to be taken except under medical supervision that is g h for jo hum denge hum kya hai hum sab hai medical you know uh, practitioner registered medical practitioner h se milta hai ek aur hai this don't forget schedule h1 right in 2013 it came into existence to check over unauthorized sale of antibiotic mainly to check over to check over unauthorized sale of antibiotics to check over unauthorized sale of antibiotics hai na so mainly all the drugs under schedule h1 if you are going to see kaise dikhega so this will be the strip of the drug right you are going to see the strip of the drug और जो ड्रग का स्ट्रिप होगा ना उनके लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द ड्रग स्ट्रिप यू विल बी फाइंडिंग अ रेड लाइन 
है ना तो ये इसका पहचान है रेड लाइन दैट दिस ड्रग इज कमिंग अंडर शेड्यूल एच वन सो वेन एवर यू सी देर इज अ रेड लाइन ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द ड्रग स्ट्रिक दिस विल बी कमिंग अंडर शेड्यूल एच वन एग्जामिनर आज द क्वेश्चन एच वन कम्स अंडर और एच वन इज मेनली गिवन फॉर एंटी एपिलेप्टिक एंटी हाइपरटेंसिव एंटी डायबिटिक एंटीबायोटिक आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर दैट एच वन वन इज द फर्स्ट ए फॉर एंटीबायोटिक राइट वन नंबर एच वन राइट एंटीबायोटिक सो दिस वॉज अ क्विक समरी ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट शेड्यूल्स एंड इंपॉर्टेंट शेड्यूल अकॉर्डिंग टू ड्रग एंड कॉस्मेटिक एक्ट राइट आई सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच